Good morning, everyone. How can naturopathy help for autoimmune condition, specifically with lupus? This is the topic we are going to talk today with Dr. Karthik Reddy, who is a naturopathic doctor. Dr. Reddy has been running his hospital for the last 15 or 20 years, successfully treating a lot of clients, a lot of people with autoimmune conditions such as lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, he's going to share with us the outcomes, success outcomes, some research, and show us how naturopathy can be helpful in, in successful treatment of lupus. I'm Amita from Nourish Talk, a global platform for natural and holistic therapies. I'd like to introduce all of you to Dr. Karthik Reddy, who's joining us live from India right now. Welcome, Dr. Reddy. Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, I am Dr. Karthik, uh, Director, SLNS Nature Cure Hospital, BB Nagar. Uh, we uh, treat uh, uh, all kind of uh, autoimmune disorders, uh, especially the lupus. So, hope I am able to all. Uh, lupus is okay for everybody? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's just uh, yeah. it's fine. I'll tell you when when you are not. There was an echo earlier, but it's fine. Let's move ahead. That's okay. Yeah. So uh, to, today I'm uh, going to explain how uh, naturopathy uh, treatments work for autoimmune disorders. First, how we started, I would like to give a small introduction before I start my slides. Okay, so uh, my parents uh, are also naturopath. My grandfather uh, is also a naturopath. They, he used to uh, do Budana Udyamam with uh, Vinoba Bhave. Uh, they started acquiring land and they used to uh, donate to the, uh, give to the poor people. So my grandfather uh, was having a severe allergy. Uh, then uh, he turned to Vinoba Bhave lifestyle changes. Then he has uh, uh, hypersensitivity or allergy reaction uh, to skin, uh, which was not treatable those days in the year 1940s and 1950s. So um, with uh, my grandfather uh, uh, inspiration, uh, my mother and my father has done diploma in nature cure. So uh, and then they were doing very good uh, practice. Uh, my one fine day, our district collector, he was suffering from autoimmune bronchitis. Uh, he got admitted into our hospital in that uh, it is autoimmune bronchitis. Uh, he was taking corticosteroids and many uh, other immunosuppressants. So I hope uh, in many autoimmune uh, conditions, uh, they uh, try to suppress the immune system with corticosteroids and various uh, kinds of immune mechanisms. Uh, they modulate and they suppress the, in our own immune system and which has other side effects also. So he got admitted uh, in uh, our hospital. He was under care. Our district collector was, his name is Dr. Uh, S.P. Tucker, Satya Prakash Tucker. He got admitted in our hospital for a month. And my father, uh, he's a diploma holder in a Diploma in Nature Cure. He could successfully uh, taper uh, his medicine. Uh, within uh, one month, he has taken treatment. And within three months, he could taper uh, his medicines. So uh, he was very happy uh, by stopping corticosteroids. Uh, then one fine, my uh, the district collector called to my father uh, because he's suffering with all India has also a doctor. So thinking, my father really not even when these years. The, the doctor Reddy, you have to, not, Doctor Reddy, there's an echo. There's an echo uh, again. Here also not. Doctor Reddy, we are not able to hear you. Okay. There is. Uh, there is. Yeah. One second. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Hello? It's fine. I think it's fine. 
We are not able to hear you clearly. It's there's an echo. I'm sorry. Uh, we are just waiting for Dr. Reddy to join us back. Hopefully, um, he'll be able to join us. Uh, I apologize. Just we'll just wait for uh, a couple of minutes to see if he's able to join us um, with, with success. Um, <clears throat> well, all I can say is that, um, you know, he has successfully treated a lot of lupus clients in the last uh, 15 years or so. Okay, so let's see. And uh, I think he's trying to join us again. We might have to start it again. I'm happy to start it again. Is it uh, clear? Yeah, now it's can clear. Yeah, yeah. Now it is I can clear? See. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, so I think, yeah. Uh, uh, the Dr. Sungohini, uh, sister-in-law for uh, SP Tucker IAS, our district collector, sister-in-law, uh, was diagnosed with lupus and she was on her deathbed uh, with heavy proteinuria, there's a lupus. We're not uh, able classical. to. We, we, Hello? Uh, yeah. A lot of uh, skin rashes on her uh, face. So she. We're not able to hear you, Dr. Reddy. Um, Dr. Reddy, we are not able to hear you. We are not able to hear you. No, we are not able to hear you. Hello? Yeah, we, we were not able to hear you at all. Yeah, okay. Now, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, so uh, Dr. Sumohini uh, got admitted uh, in our hospital in the year 1993. So uh, she was on her deathbed. Uh, he asked uh, my father, uh, do you know lupus? My father uh, doesn't have any knowledge about lupus. Uh, he got admitted. Uh, she, he, he took admission uh, for Dr. Sumohini. And as she is a medical uh, knowledge, uh, she was asking, what is lupus to my father? And then he told, I don't know, but I can improve your uh, condition. Then uh, she got so much angry that uh, with, without uh, a doctor doesn't know uh, about SLE, how could he treat me? Uh, how an naturopath can treat me? Be because he, she is a, a allopathy uh, background. Uh, so how can uh, this treatment can work to me? Anyway, it was on her deathbed. So she, there was no choice for her to, because no hospital is giving admission uh, when her kidney uh, was in such a bad shape with uh, uh, nephritis and lot of proteinuria. So uh, they were never expect uh, uh, the, the, for, for the treatment or its uh, cure or relief, but they want a peaceful death. Uh, the, so she got admitted in our uh, hospital for uh, three months. So many of uh, her uh, relatives uh, are coming to uh, see uh, her uh, that uh, uh, she, she may pass away because there are a lot of complications, uh, uh, blood pressure and heart problem, uh, uh, then uh, heavy proteinuria, skin rashes so all over the body everywhere. Uh, so then uh, they, 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 she will not survive for a more uh, long period. So all of her relatives uh, are coming. Uh, to see her at our uh, hospital. So uh, then gradually the symptomatic improvement is seen uh, slowly her protein uh, in the urine uh, 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 came down, her blood pressure started uh, control. So uh, as uh, she know about uh, this uh, uh, gravity of the disease, uh, 
uh, she was surprised how uh, this uh, lupus is not treatable how can i uh, i i become better now uh, and then she gave investigation to check her blood sample she was feeling energetic her protein has become low uh, then once the blood sample ana circulating immune complexes igm antibodies uh, lupus antigen uh, other uh, tests were done uh, in the year 1993 after three months of naturopathic treatment with my father so uh then she uh, was uh, so happy by seeing a negative report uh, all immunoglobulins are coming down uh, and uh, circulating immune complexes uh, and uh, inflammatory markers uh, the the main markers for inflammation that uh, disturbs the uh, the organ functioning so uh, they, they were seeing improvement uh, in at every parameter so she was happy that uh, no treatment was working how uh, this treat and then my father became very famous after that so uh, our state government sanctioned 5 uh, acres of land for sle so since then uh, we are uh, started that was a uh, first case uh, without uh, my parents or my father knowledge uh, has uh, successfully successfully Uh, treated the lupus so uh, that day there was uh, those days uh, it was not properly documented now we are documenting every case uh, every uh, markers uh, so now i am going to present uh, uh, give little introduction about lupus and also uh, my case uh, studies so can i proceed uh, amita uh, sle yeah, yeah. Yes, can, yes. is it audible whatever i spoke uh, earlier Yes, yes, it is. Uh, it, we are on the first slide of uh, systemic lupus. You can start. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, everybody knows. Uh, I think this uh, autoimmune disorders where our own antibodies uh, will attack uh, uh, on the body tissues, uh, inflammatory because body is the host, so it suffers with uh, antigen and antibody response. So the host, uh, wherever there is inflammation. Uh, that organ or uh, the tissue gets affected and we see symptoms in that particular areas uh, lupus is of several kinds everybody uh, there there is a lupus uh, with uh, uh, nephritis lupus in pregnancy lupus uh, with uh, ca cardiology lupus uh, uh, with uh, ma ma muscles uh, lupus ns lupus neuropsychiatric lupus and there so on every organ can relate to lupus and how uh, this auto antibodies damage and that functions will be affected so we check Uh, many inflammatory parameters it is the di diagnostic criteria uh, that for main uh, the, the lupus is diagnosed uh, by this uh, uh, cri uh, criteria this acr criteria american college of rheumatology any of uh, these symptoms like uh, characteristic rash on the cheek discoid lesion rash photosensitivity oral ulcers arthritis uh, inflammation of membranes in the lungs uh, the heart uh, or the abdomen evidence of uh, kidney disease uh, evidence of a uh, severe neurological disease uh, you can go for next slide uh, blood disorders including rho red cells platelet count immunological abnormalities positive anti nuclear antibody any four of uh, these are positive then the per patient the person is uh, diagnosed as lupus so by american uh, uh, college of uh, rheumatology so uh, next slide so reasons for sle uh, there are several uh, reasons uh, uh, for sle it increased advanced uh, glycation end products like uh, when we eat food it is much more uh, deep fried uh, uh, this uh, carbohydrate uh, every 1 degree raise in temperature uh, we lose the nutritive value of a, a particular food like oh, suppose if it is a protein it turns to fluorols nitrols nitrosamines and uh, polycyclic amines and uh, food additives uh, coloring agents chemical agents and food uh, uh, many chem preservation food like uh, uh, ethyl uh, ethyl propyl parabens uh, ethyl paraben propyl paraben uh, uh, methyl paraben these are all used as a preservative in various foods which is unable to rot so all bit interfere into the metabolism uh, chemicals uh, uh, stress uh, uh, sunlight and there are other reasons like uh, immunization uh, they trigger the immune system uh, which is not there in uh, this slide amit please be on 
previous slide i will say this to change the slide so the uh, immunization uh, like when said where so many uh, this like uh, metri uh, will trigger the immune system and it excels then the production of chips uh, and uh, that was the implementation so uh, especially when we, we as a nature then when we look at uh, patient uh, uh, for a treatment, uh, these uh, pa parameters are uh, yeah, yeah, very important like uh, advanced glycation and products fluorals nitrals and nitrosamines like uh, every 1 degree rise in temperature there is a change in the nutritive value uh, like carbohydrate it turns to uh, ages formation uh, uh, like a uh, cooking if you cook in temp uh, oil temperature or cooking temperature is about uh, 260 degrees or 280 degrees above uh, these temperatures there's a lot of transformation uh, of uh, food uh, takes place if you make fry like potato chips uh, in hot boiling oil uh, if you heat it uh, then uh, if it is a protein uh, like a chicken or egg or any dal udak dal uh, or a black gram any any kind of a protein if, if it, it is it turns to uh, golden brown or uh, dark or when you keep deep frying uh, these uh, chemicals are uh, formed uh, they are uh, like uh, nitrons nitrosamines polycyclamines these are inflammatory in nature and it further uh, trigger the uh, immune uh, reactions uh, so then uh, uh, it uh, uh, increase the flare-up of the disease so uh, if it is a fat fat when the if you keep on heating fat it has a bonds between each other that is why omega-3 fatty acid having a lot of importance uh, it is required for any healing uh, in the body tissues uh, uh, because of uh, the triple bond in nature it undergo metabolism uh, when you heat oil, like uh, in Europe, European countries or in America, many people use uh, olive oil because of omega-3 content. So when you uh, use olive oil, uh, how you use it, uh, uh, how you should prepare the food, uh, uh, it is most important here. So that is why uh, naturopathy, uh, dietary uh, uh, the, 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 the changes uh, are bringing amazing results. I mean, amazing results. So, uh, when you he, if you make a deep fry uh, in uh, uh, olive oil, uh, if, if you if you make an egg or any chicken or any uh, fry vada, uh, uh, bhaji, uh, so at, when it becomes golden brown to dark color, there are a lot of these chemicals as I listed here, uh, formation uh, taking place, which are cause uh, trigger the uh, inflammation and the immune cells. So we should take a very special care in the cooking. So we should uh, we should use oil as a uh, nutrient, uh, not as a cooking medium. Uh, so uh, and uh, use uh, 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 water as a cooking medium. Uh, so when you are preparing food, it should be uh, steam because the uh, uh, temperature of the water, if it is exceeding above 100 degrees centigrade, uh, it uh, uh, give steam so the cooking if the cooking temperature is low so much of uh, nutrients uh, from the carbohydrates from the proteins from the fats and whatever uh, we take other minerals uh, are also in uh, stable form uh, they don't uh, spoil uh, they don't lose its nature the color of the uh, vegetable is also uh, stable so a lot of nutrients that benefit our system so there are a lot more uh, uh, other things are involved in uh, especially dietary change to uh, these uh, people detoxification and again uh, uh, will help their various herbs we give in helping uh, to bring down their inflammation. We check different various inflammatory uh, markers that we'll discuss in further slides. So these are the root causes, especially the uh, food additives, chemicals, stress, sunlight and advanced glycation and products uh, are the and uh, stimulating the dendritic cells uh, uh, by taking uh, Im different immunization uh, programs uh, in mercury. Uh, so it will uh, end in an autoimmune condition. So next slide, please. Yeah. So complications of SLE. 
uh, if the inflammation if it doesn't stop or if immunosuppressants are not working uh, then uh, it can lead to a further stages it can damage the kidney uh, it will the protein uh, loss takes once the protein loss is there then the legs will get swell up face will get swell up they get ascites in the abdomen and uh, lungs uh, pleuritis so wherever uh, space uh, the water gets accumulated in the place so lung and heart involvement uh, it can also involve directly lung it become fibrosed due to continuous inflammation it becomes hard like you see covid 19 it is also a inflammatory response uh, due to uh, covid uh, uh, 19 virus so a lot of antigen antibody reaction and the lung tissue because further continuous inflammation it becomes uh, very hard like a leather uh, many post-mortem studies uh, due to inflammation in COVID cases are similarly here also when there is inflammation in the lungs, they fit a frequent cough, uh, uh, sneezing and uh, running nose and later it turned to uh, lung. Uh, so it can involve so uh, and then it, heart involvement. So even heart uh, gets uh, can it can affect autoantibodies uh, will damage the cardiac muscle. Huh? Uh, then uh, central nervous system. Uh, it can uh, autoantibodies uh, in uh, cerebral sp sp spinal fluid uh, can block the blood vessels in the brain. Uh, depending on, on the areas of the brain which is affected, the patient will have symptoms. If it is a motor area, then motor skills will be affected. If it is the sensory area, depending upon the sensation, uh, it's represent uh, in the brain uh, that uh, functions get affected. If it is uh, auditory, then the hearing can be affected. If it is on occipital, then many uh, depends uh, on the area which uh, function is represent. So that function can get affected. So then low immune response easily subsub because people, many people uh, who are under treatment uh, with conventional medicine, uh, the, all these drugs uh, will uh, suppress the bone marrow, uh, the pluripotent stem cells, uh, the myeloid and lymphoid series. Uh, so both it gets suppressed and low hemoglobin uh, they are easily susceptible for infection. So due to heavy antibodies, they try to suppress the antibodies uh, at its uh, production point. Uh, so the same cells, again, uh, are responsible for repair of the tissue. So when due to continuous uh, suppression of uh, immunity, the bone marrow, the stem cells are uh, uh, suppressed and uh, which are necessary to repair our body cells. That is why in conventional medicine, there is only a, 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 a suppression. Uh, of course, in emergency, uh, these drugs are uh, very helpful. Uh, all cases, uh, uh, any, any any cases in emergency, allopathy is the best medicine. But uh, every day is uh, there is no, it is not an emergency. So slowly we should uh, uh, improve the, that uh, our general health or immunity so that the emergency uh, doesn't come to these uh, patients. So if they improve uh, their inflammatory markers by changing lifestyle changes and good uh, anti uh, accidents and a natural uh, living and fresh air uh, uh, so there are a lot of herbs uh, uh, can greatly help uh, in handling the inflammatory changes in each and every tissues uh, in the each and every organ uh, in the uh, lupus case so uh, the uh, this is a, there may, may be any then the drugs commonly used in SLE uh, are uh, cyclophosphamide. Uh, this uh, suppress the B cells. Uh, then uh, azuron, uh, hydroxychloroquine and sulfate, uh, 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 painkillers. Uh, there are other drugs are uh, now monoclonal antibodies like azithromycin. Uh, in some cases, very rare cases, uh, even plasmapheresis they are doing. So it depends on like how much dosage on each patient, depending on patient body weight, uh, the drugs are given. So, and a lot of side effects uh, people has to face, mainly adrenal insufficiency, especially with the corticosteroids. Uh, corticosteroids, bodily, in our body, the adrenal gland uh, will naturally produce the cortisol. Uh, so, by taking synthetic uh, steroids, uh, methylprednisolone or visalin uh, or any other steroids, uh, medrol, uh, will affect uh, our natural uh, adrenal and pituitary axis. So, uh, normally, our steroids uh, secretion takes place uh, uh, automatically. If it is deficit, it produces, uh, it increases its production, uh, and if it is uh, excess, it will inhibit by itself. Uh, so when the person start taking steroid, 
uh, it body will get habituated to it uh, and natural production of uh, hormone uh, will come down that is why when you take this uh, patient uh, scans the adrenal gland will become diminished it will not be able to produce uh, produce uh, cortisol in future so once the patient uh, will be able to produce his own body cortisol uh, he will never be addicted with steroids so that is what uh, in the where important point the patient should work out to improve his adrenal function uh, so that uh, the excess uh, synthetic steroids uh, is uh, uh, of a uh, uh, usage uh, will be minimized so by well tapering steroid it is a very critical point for us it takes uh, time up to 3 months to 6 months and also some patients it may take years also to reduce Uh, steroids or other immunosuppressants so a uh, patient uh, should when they come to naturopathy they are not supposed to stop their uh, steroids immediately it takes uh, much time uh, once their inflammatory markers are improving we have to check each and every point uh, at uh, urine or uh, heart or lungs or vital uh, organs then the medicine is very slowly uh, it is to be withdrawn so ultimately they can achieve a very good uh, results uh, if, uh, by following uh, the disciplinary or uh, lifestyle change uh, so can uh, then criteria to admit a case so we uh, all sle cases uh, uh, may not uh, uh, help naturopathy treatment the patient should be minimum stable to take the treatment the criteria for any sle case to come to naturopathy that the hemoglobin should be minimum above 8 mg and the creatinine should be below 2 uh, minimum strength to walk to that uh, section treatment sections or uh, taking bath by themselves because in naturopathy centers uh, no emergency facilities are available uh, we, we we handle uh, such cases so no severe complications and emergencies so the patient should be able to eat the food whatever we give and able to withstand our treatments uh, like a simple treatments or like, uh, mud baths or massages or other uh, various treatments uh, we try to help them to improve symptomatically uh, uh, their uh, related complaints so the uh, patient uh, uh, should have so these kinds of cases uh, can only uh try naturopathy uh, treatment not uh, that many people try uh, allopathy ayurveda and uh, many other uh, uh, systems or whatever uh, different doctors in allopathy one dermatologist to another dermatologist if they are not responding so once their uh, every organ fail to respond at end stage they try to come over here uh, where we will not be able to handle such situation uh, where creatinine reaches above 5 or any Uh, lung complications or heart a heart complications so minimum with basic health the patient has to because that is why in our old or uh, uh, elderly people uh, give a wise advice that uh, prevention is better than cure so before the complication arises with the minimum stability patient uh, can come to nhq centers and improve their general health or uh, reduce their inflammatory markers uh, so next slide yeah this uh, this the case uh, 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 from due to pro, we have to protect a patient identity we uh, kept a ice with marker uh, she is having rashes on face uh, severe pain in joints ankle shoulders elbow wrist joint uh, uh, she will not able to walk even for 100 meters unable to climb the stairs when she got admitted at our place uh, breathlessness since past 18 months Uh, several uh, medical colleges uh, in india in bangalore and due to accumulation of uh, water was fully with uh, uh, water so pains and disturbed sleep uh, next slide please next next slide please yeah, we check at different uh, parameters uh, uh, subject before before slide so this uh, subjective changes uh, biochemical changes sonological parameters uh, i am comparing this case uh, for, uh, at every level uh, radiological parameters also so she was having uh, very uh, rashes on the skin uh, then uh, what depends you can go through the, these slides i it will take much time to explain uh, we can go to the next uh, slides uh, 
uh, yeah, you, these markers before and after. And there are so many markers uh, we check uh, many. Uh, now we are checking IL six and other uh, markers, inflammatory markers also, where drastic changes uh, uh, can be seen in every case. Uh, uh, Amita, is it okay? Should I re repeat every parameter? Or no, no, it, no, no. It's, it I, think, I think just an overall, this is just an uh, informational yeah, yeah, session. So yeah, I, yeah. I think it's a way too much for people but, to understand. Uh, I'm trying to conclude in the next uh, five minutes uh, or so. You have given me 35 minutes time to talk. Or if you permit me, I'll take another extra 10 minutes now to explain other cases. So otherwise, sure. I can go through with these results uh, and uh, compare the before and after changes. Uh, uh, subjective, objective, radiological, and sonological parameters. I mentioned uh, about the, some cases. So we can go to next slide. You can take 10 minutes. So if that's you can, can I take yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 no problem. Let's, yeah. let's finish so it properly. It's not visible in my phone. I have prepared this, I have prepared this slide, but uh, in my mobile, I, it's not uh, visible to me. So oh, sure. next, no next slide, please. Yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, these are the x-rays. Uh, in the past two years, you can see uh, all these X-rays at different dates are also you can, you may read if you zoom it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, in brain uh, focal edema in both the several hemispheres. Uh, then uh, uh, also bilateral pleural effusion uh, due to pulmonary cotch. So since this uh, since past two years uh, with. Uh, Medication, uh, she was not responding properly. Uh, next slide. Yeah, within uh, 20 days of uh, naturopathy treatment, you can see her. Uh, there was no pleuritis, there was no ascites, uh, there is no, uh, there are a lot of uh, subjective and objective changes are seen. Uh, rashes has come down. Ne next slide, please. This is the uh, x ray changes you can see if uh, compared with the previous reports. And these are pictures which I uh, for shortage of time. I'm, you can see she lost 18 kg. She was losing plus four protein. Uh, she was a uh, 10 eight years of a lupus case. I was taking a Nizam Institute of uh, Medical Science in Hyderabad. Uh, it was it was also a left out case uh, for them. Uh, we could uh, uh, improve her uh, condition. Next slide, please. Yeah, this was her biopsy report. Uh, kidney biopsy. Uh, there was a class 5 uh, glomerulonephritis uh, with the increase in uh, uh, glomerular uh, uh, thickening, uh, increase, so interstitium, and uh, uh, with, uh, so you can go through. The next slide, this is an x-ray report. So even uh, again, after complete treatment, we took to the same hospital, uh, and even doctors, uh, the head of the department, uh, they're also told that SLE and lupus nephritis recovered of all drugs since 2007. So even uh, without that, she was able to uh, stably uh, situation. Uh, so SLE is uh, very well uh, improvement is seen. Uh, next slides. This was written by the rheumatologist in such So see the, the differences, uh, discrimination of uh, skin uh, during uh, before nature cure treatments, uh, the index finger and the thumb. Uh, so next slide. Yeah, this after nature cure treatments, uh, the scaling, uh, the dryness of the skin uh, became normal, uh, completely normal. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, so this her uh, parameters: ANA, vitamin D, testosterone, cholesterol, before and after. Uh, yeah, you can compare uh, uh, it for themselves. Next slide, please. You can see uh, protein. Yeah, there's four plus protein. Uh, this uh, before uh, picture taken before treatment and after treatment. Uh, the swelling has gone, the protein became uh, from plus four to plus three. Uh, we have so many other pictures and some more data. We could not present all that data here. Uh, so you just, you, people can find uh, uh, the changes uh, 
physically you can see subjective changes next slide please yeah see so you can see her legs it has become completely swelling has gone due to nephritis she was losing a lot of protein and a lot of uh, swelling occurred within 20 days the swelling has gone totally next slide please yeah so you can see the rash on the skin uh, on her face all over body uh, not only face neck and everywhere uh, within 20 days uh, of treatment uh, her uh, skin rashes uh, came to normal next slide please it's a butterfly rash yeah, this is the first case uh, uh, it was uh, uh, treated by my parents uh, they are uh, only diploma holders they don't know about lupus uh, without their knowledge uh, that was my uh, initiation to handle uh, this case uh, dr sumohini uh, was the initiation for us to uh, to treat uh, hundreds of cases uh, today uh, they, where my father treated uh, only because of uh, our district collector, IAS officer, S.P. Tucker. He thought that my autoimmune bronchitis uh, has been cured in nature care. Can uh, same because the medicines are same for each and uh, every other autoimmune uh, disorders. So may this uh, treatment could help lupus. Uh, so my uh, because of his thought, my parents uh, tried to uh, attempt uh, a lupus case. They don't have any idea about lupus. So now, because I am a graduate, uh, uh, five and a half years uh, uh, bachelor degree in yoga and naturopathy, I have studied my degree at uh, Rajiv Gandhi in, uh, University of Health Sciences uh, uh, in Sri Dharmasthala Manjunadeshwar, SDM College of Naturopathy and Yogic Science. Even uh, of a five and a half years degree, we can only know the clinical uh, values or the with different uh, investigations so that I am able to compare and uh, write a uh, and, make a track of each and every case uh, since past 15 years of these lupus cases. So we could, uh, where how my parents treated without their knowledge, it was really amazing. Uh, that was an inspiration uh, or a, a, a road or way to see many cases today for me. Okay. Next slide. You can see her reports are available. Our uh, anti-nuclear antibodies, uh, uh, all her uh, uh, values uh, I have in, with a bigger font with red color I have uh, uh, given a text here. So anti IgG antibodies delayed hypersensitivity IgD, which were very very high uh, anti nuclear antibodies. The next slide. This was values before the treatment. This is a during the treatment anti NA from there. It, so earlier they used to do a different method. Today there there, there are several ways of doing ANA. Those uh, methods. Uh, uh, were different and today what we are we going for uh, immunofluorescence uh, technique uh, and uh, immune blot technique and LISA technique there are various techniques uh, some uh, are uh, qualitative quantitative uh, things are there here so during this during treatment uh, it has come down to 120 and then co after completion of treatment is you can see on the next slide the anti-nuclear antibodies uh, became completely negative next slide please yeah, this is a SLE it was, it's a aim report uh, a scanned uh, copy. Uh, this, yeah, this is uh, after nature cure treatment. Uh, these values after nature cure treatment, it has become completely normal. 25, we have done this test in Siddhartha Diagnostic Center at Hyderabad. Next slide, please. Yeah, early cells. Now these cells, uh, this test uh, doesn't have any value. Uh, because even LE cells are seen in, in many other purposes. But those days, uh, LE cells uh, was also a criteria in uh, ACR criteria, uh, American criteria for diagnosing lupus. But today, this uh, LE cells doesn't have, but even LE cells will represent the inflammation in the body, lupus uh, cells. So even that has become negative. That, in, that indicates that there, there are a lot of uh, diet and uh, herbs are uh, uh, working very well uh, to uh, infl to bring down inflammation in her body. So next slide, please. I think almost we have finished. Yeah, anti DSTNA. It was very highly positive. Next slide. It took three months. It took three months to uh, 
bring all these changes before treatment she has a very severe fever body stiffness vomiting sensation jaw locked no peristalsis hypertension very high hypertension uh, then insomnia and inflamed liver all the symptoms have been improved uh, after the treatment uh, and she continued uh, in our hospital for almost uh, one year she took uh, active or uh, serious treatment for only two months but she was uh, with us uh, for another one year with my parents so uh, after that she was uh, discharged uh, so next slide please i think that's it yeah so uh, yeah that's it so uh, I... any questions or yeah, clarifications no. uh, because yeah. uh, this is not uh, uh, there's a lot of things to talk about lupus uh, but uh, it's not possible uh, to tell all this in 35 minutes or in one hour there are so many yeah. things uh, we consider have to be explained uh, how a naturopathy uh, uh, take place or take role in handling lupus cases there are so many there are different kinds of lupus cases uh, we are able to observe these days lupus with uh, antiphospholipid syndrome lupus with uh, cardiolipin antibodies lupus with, uh, neuropsychiatric lupus uh, pregnancy in lupus how nature cure uh, works uh, uh, wonderfully to bring down uh, their inflammatory mediators so uh, you are welcome for questions yeah yeah so i'm going to ask uh, 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 there is a question from someone uh, so let me just see okay so if we are open for questions if if, if someone wants to ask questions i had some uh, questions like how many cases have you uh, i mean it, uh, i know you you the journey started with your grandfather and then your parents um yeah. so now you've been con you've continuing yeah. their legacy which is very impressive how many cases you must have done for lupus um because i think there's a lot of amazing work that you have done. Uh, yeah we have seen uh, hundreds of uh, we have seen hundreds of cases but yeah. uh, all are not successful we even we have failure our success rate is only 70% uh, i see yeah because uh, patients should know how to manage their personal life Uh, personal life uh, because the stress uh, uh, psycho yes. neuro uh, endocrine all uh, immune system uh, it works yeah. like if you're stressed up your mind or neurons uh, will get affected and once it get affected there is hormone fluctuation takes place uh, once yeah. hormones uh, fluctuation takes place your own immune system will attack on your own body so patient uh, should uh, know how to manage uh, he or she a uh, personal life like we get young ladies married and uh, they get divorced in two years because the husband knows he read in internet uh, that this lupus is not treated and the uh, lady uh, there is no financial support no social support no support from the uh, parents uh, because uh, the, after two years of marriage and living together uh, who will marry who or who will take care of uh, rest of her life so her mental condition will be very very low so people yeah. who have very good family support or good uh, positive mind uh, they are improving very very well so the failures are uh, uh, from the uh, sides of uh, patient side and they should know how to manage their personal life uh, and uh, how to manage their stress so then they are much more successful so it's not yeah. that uh, each and every case uh, we can uh, whatever we are handling it is treated 100% success we have other failures also so we are trying to look our weaknesses and we are trying to improve ourselves and exploring uh, in a different way Okay, so we have a question from a from a user. So the question yeah. is, um, they're asking for remedies uh, to use against lupus. You know, you talked a lot about the lifestyle. You talked about the cooking part. You know, the oil. Uh, the, I mean, yeah. which oil to? Uh, so, so can you talk about a little bit more on uh, uh, prevention? You talked a lot about prevention. So I think this person is trying to ask, yeah. what are the remedies? What can they do? Yeah, basic uh, lifestyle changes uh, to be done. uh like uh, like food habits uh, we see we make a tailor made a diet charts uh, based on the essential protein non essential protein their values and the kidney their liver uh, serum albumin serum globulin so we keep a particular pattern we initially we give off a protein free diet later we give a very high protein and fat diet but initially for uh, they should have detox uh, their uh, cells the inflammatory values should come down then later whatever protein or diet is given Uh, so we for a, for mrt mediated release test in us like it it will cost uh, some around uh, uh, 500 or 400 dollars in your place i think so if any mediated there are different kinds of mediated release test uh, ige mediated and igg mediated so any food inflammatory response then that food, particular food should be avoided 
uh, and other uh, many like milk products and non vegetarian uh, we minimize or we avoid them for particular period so there are lot more because it is a, a question uh, it yeah. cannot be answered in a single word it, it should be uh, individualized individualized uh, on, on on this question because it's not unique it's not same diet or uh, yeah. for each and every uh, case even lifestyle changes uh, some uh, has to focus uh, depending upon their work style or their yeah. atmosphere uh so like as i told you like uh, personal life uh, how to manage their personal life so that that's the uh, crux of the treatment uh, yes. that's a crucial role it takes place to bring down their uh, per, per inflammation okay any other follow up question on that i think he tried to tell you what you asked uh, any other follow up question on that <coughs> or any comment or any feedback you you're welcome to um, put it in the chat window uh, and it, this is confidential yeah but able... like i i can talk about permeability uh, hello yes yes is it okay my voice is clear to you yes yeah. yes your voice is fine you much better now so i think uh, what so this is what i'm yeah. trying to get for our viewers let's say um, you know you've done a lot of work you must have done i don't know thousands of patients uh, in lupus or something like that a really high number or maybe more i'm i'm just making things up right now is there somewhere that that uh, you know if someone is just beginning uh, initial symptoms of prevention do you all does anybody they all have to come to your hospital or there is anything that you can also advise them you know um, like you talked about their diet you talked about other things um is do you also do that or or we okay i don't know what happened he is um well uh, i think uh, if he's not able to join us now again okay he is joining me again Dr. Hello? Karthik? Yes. Yeah, can you see me? We can't can you see you. Me? We can hear you. I think we'll have to wrap up this session um because I think we're having too many problems with yeah. with the connection. Any other question, any other follow-up yeah. question we have, uh, you can let us know because we've been having a lot of these technical issues. Um so um I think what we will do is Dr. Reddy um maybe you and I can um um record some of the common questions that people might have uh, you know and not make it live and so that way we can tell uh, most of the users because today's session we were able to get through but it wasn't very clear so what i would suggest is maybe you yeah. and i will connect and we can record these sessions of some of the frequently asked questions people have and then make it that way available yeah. right i think that would yeah. be much There's too many reasons. too many frequently asked question i i want to give one advice uh, for okay. all cases Uh, which is very important in uh, especially the cooking process should be the yeah. very low cooking temperature without to change its uh, color uh, it should be well cooked but it should not be uh, fried uh, dark so which oil to oil. use you talked about oil of oil natural oil oil all natural oils can be used uh, nature uh, but uh, it should not exceed its smoke point like uh, for groundnut oil it has very low smoke point So the cooking okay. temperature should be low, below one fifty to one sixty degrees centigrade. Like I olive see. oil, it is where like virgin and extra virgin oils have up to two forty to two sixty degrees centigrade. So yeah. the cooking temperature should not exceed behind that temperature. So when you okay. make fry, the temperature of oil uh, it goes to about three hundred yeah. and three hundred and fifty, where yeah. uh, the protein and the carbohydrate uh, changes takes place here, and I also see. vegetables uh, takes place. And number yeah. two, the important point here. like uh, permeability any permeability like if a person is having allergy to peanuts so if you yeah. take peanuts with jaggery then his allergy will be 100 times more so the yeah. permeability of the gut is very high because of jaggery or sugar the yeah. peanut can enter into the blood stream uh, at a higher stage higher like yeah. in any ayurvedic medicines they need a carrier molecule they take alcohol or they take a, a kalakanda called sugar, any kind of sugar substance Yeah. Uh, or jaggery or honey uh, uh, they use uh, so if uh, medicine is given as a simple plain and the medicine is not much alcohol and brandy but anything if you do make any medicines with alcohol it will affect because alcohol yeah. can 
three heads in, into this. So, uh, if a patient is if a patient is because uh, many users will have a lot of inflammation and skin allergies, uh, photosensitivity, rashes on face, uh, skin everywhere. So, if uh, the particular food, if it is not suited, they should not eat with uh, a substance which increase the permeability of the gut, like sugar or honey or jaggery or uh, mm -hmm. even a high sweetened. Uh, uh, like invert fructose, even aerated soft drinks, that allergy can trigger uh, if, 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 if normally if they take that 50% allergy, it times 2,000 times. So then higher dose of steroids them to uh, be away from uh, high sweetened or high increased alert from alcohol. Uh, so sugar, uh, jaggery, okay. even honey, even honey uh, in Ayurveda, uh, we advise them to take. Uh, but uh, in specific skin conditions, uh, rash, they should avoid even honey also. Okay, okay. Hope that Part answered your particular question. Period of, for for particular period. Yeah. Uh, hope that answered the question uh, you just asked. Uh, if So we are almost, uh, yeah, if, I hope he answered, he answered the question you were asking for. You know, you asked for remedies, so he's tried to give you some of the remedies. Uh, if there is any follow-up question, you know, I've put our email here. You, the connection is not very good. What you can do is um, you can send us an email and then I, we will get the answers from Dr. Reddy or, you know, if, uh, we can get, get the next steps. Okay. So with that, I think I'd like to wrap up this session. And Dr. Reddy, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just uh, record some of this other simple things when, you know, the, maybe you and I can do yeah. some, some of the things and make it available for uh, other users because the connection has been a little bit intermittent, sometimes good, sometimes not good. Um, uh, and uh, I'll just like to wrap up this session uh, right now. Um, any other comments or anything? Okay. All right, so with that, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Reddy. I can't see you again. Um, I'd like to, yeah, the, 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 the connection has not been very good. So uh, what I'll do is I'd like to wrap up this session. If there are any questions, uh, you can reach us, um, uh, you know, at care at nourishrock.com and, and we'll, um, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you for being so patient with us uh, with, with the bad connection. I really apologize. Sometimes these things happen. I think there is, um, okay, there is, if there is anything else. And and uh, like I said, if you have more questions, just send us an email and we'll get you. Okay, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to end this session right now, Dr. Dr. Reddy, because the connection is not very good. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us and uh, please help us share our sessions and we'll get more answers from Dr. Reddy uh, in a separate uh, like Zoom recording and we'll share it with everyone because I think he has done amazing work which needs which other people need to see. He must have treated almost 2000 cases of lupus or maybe more and he has kept all the records and that's what I really wanted to, to, to bring out to more and more people that how he has been able to keep all the data markers before and after and how he has shown success even though it's been several percent but it's still a successful outcome that's our goal we are trying to show you successful outcomes from all over the world so with that i want to thank you for joining us have a great weekend bye